Today's show is brought to you by Orange. Do you like taking walks around the block or even at the park? Have you passed a house and you've seen an orange tree? Go ahead and pick one and rip it up and taste its citrusy taste. You're better off plucking from an orange tree than you are buying one at the store. Orange coming to a daily walk near you, 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 you. Okay, okay, paying the bills, paying the bills. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, before I get into this, right, I'm going to try to speak fast. This is the first time ever I'm doing the second take because I was talking way too much. Now, let me tell you the importance of that Cat Williams and Shannon, Shannon Sharp interview, right? Let's take a look at what was said. He said that there's one, there's witches and warlocks, right? Got it? Great. Okay, two, there's gate guards. That, like, you have to do what they say or you are. And the mansion parties, the Freemasons and the Illuminati, right? the, the, these factions. And to deny these factions in the, 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 the industry there with just comedy, okay, that is just silly. So now, the reason why it's so special is because this, of the gate guards and everyone, it's in every major area it's in our law it's in our politics it's in our education and it is in our science ladies and gentlemen this is the person here that you see on the screen his name is maxwell chi kumbutsu i think i'm saying that right um i don't think so but we'll carry on now he's smashing science now, what's great about him, right? All of these great inventors, because I have a very soft spot for inventors. Like, I love the inventor of YouTube because, you remember, he dropped out of college and then created YouTube for the whole world to experience and to connect. Fabulous. And guess what? Maxwell, he dropped out of school, too, at 14 and did his thing. Oh. Now, what was so... I've read so many articles, right? What's so fascinating about this is the idea. They asked him, where did you get the idea from? Who taught you this type of science and math and all of this? And guess what he said? It's going to blow your mind. He said, God told me. The divine, the creator of all things, told him how to build this machine. Now, let's go. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Get into it. Let's get into it. We'll start here. The young inventor, best known for his developing the green power generator, which can produce electricity using radio frequencies. If, if, if anybody's confused, okay, so basically, there's stuff in the air, free energy that we could use and, and to power stuff. Now look, for for all of the naysayers, because I heard, because these science people, right? Because, you know, you, you, they, they, they taught you something. They taught you. They don't want you thinking. They taught you something, and you are denying what's going on here. Okay, let, let's, let's just, here's a picture of the drone here that's using radio frequency turn it into a, a, a power and electricity. Now, for the naysayers, look what I did for you. you know, here's a demonstration. He even powered a TV. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, without a plug, without electricity. Let's just take a look. <laughs> take a look. Call. You got to make those noises when something fascinating happens, right? Look, this is technology. There it is. There it is. And here he is explaining how this thing works. She's showing you. Look, 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 there's no plug. There's no plug. There it is. Okay, look, look, look. Even the people were saying it. Now. I'm going to pause it. Right? And let me explain something to you. 
Now, anyone that wants to help and save everyone, make life better, easier for everyone, guess what happens? They pop up. Whoopsie. And they get <laughs> that For some that are uh, upstanding, right? So they, they can't. They can't really scar your name. They can't say that you're a gangbanger. They can't say you're a sexual deviant. If they can't tell you, if they can't say and give that narrative to everyone, guess what they do next? They said, you know what? We got to poison this guy. We, he's, going to, he's going to kill the gang. We need our money. We need our money. Ugh. No. Ladies and gentlemen, here, if you can zoom in. This is the third attempt on Mr. Maxwell's life. The first Zimbabwean to design and make a hydrogen engine, powered helicopter, an electric car, a magnetic converter, a green powered generator, and a drone through his company, Safe Technologies. Now, let me scroll up, man. Let me see what date was this. Now, what, what ended up happening since he created this, right, after reading all the articles, right? When he created this, um, I noticed one thing that everyone was trying to get, you know, trying to keep it secret and hush-hush. And all of a sudden, people were saying that, oh, we don't have enough money to fund your, your invention. Are you goddamn kidding me? This is the man of the damn century, and no one could fund to, to, to fund his goddamn invention to save everyone. What, so what, what, we, we can't use free energy. So here we go, science, right? Science people, all of my PhDs, all of my master's degrees, right? I'm going to let him speak on his own here. It says we've also received a, a range of of death threats, financial and personal ruins through emails, Facebook messengers, and other social media platforms. Okay. I have a soft spot for inventors here. And there's a list of inventors that have been poisoned. Any great man that's here to make a a change, a positive change, uh, they like to take them out. And who are these people? Hey, this is what Cat Williams was all about. Because it's in every avenue, every area of life. It's in our labor, it's in our law, it's in our Hollywood, it's in politics, and it is definitely in science. Because you didn't get the memo. And what memo was I, am I talking about? Let's take to the music industry. The music industry sent you a memo to all the people that are in the music industry. If you're not in it, you won't get what I'm saying. When taking out Mike and Prince, they sent a message. What message did they send, Riggles? Oh, let me tell you what they said. Oh, any of you that want to get your masters? You want to keep your masters? Oh, really? Off with your head. Hello, do you understand what I'm saying? So here is the message that a lot of people in the science world, you didn't get the message. You didn't get the message in the science world. And the name, Mr. Stephen Hawkins. If you look into Mr. Stephen Hawkins' life, how did he get paralyzed and how can he talk? What did he do? Ah, oh. and then what they did was, any of you, you're going to break our status quo here? You think you're going to change the world? Here's Stephen Hawkins. And not only are we not going to kill him, we're going to silence him. And as we silence him, gentlemen, we're going to speak through him. We are going to speak through Stephen Hawkins just so there will be no misunderstandings of what we're talking about here. Now, stay tuned for part two here. Part two is coming up where I want to show you something else. I want you to hear him from his mouth. It's your boy, T.